possible damages theories in calculating reasonable royalty damages in any of your cases? Yeah, it's really going to be done frequently. Uh, you know, especially in cases where you know you don't have guideline license agreements or in situations uh, where it's, they're not as strong as you'd like. So, you know, as you you know, doing as many methods, uh, you know, can be helpful when you have the fact, you know, the data to support using two methods. Lindsay, when you're working in 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 cases and you come across counsel who's working on a situation in which they're doing this. Um, is there a tremendous variation in terms of the calculation of what the royalty damages are, depending upon which damages theory you use? Absolutely. Um, the plaintiff and defendant's damages expert's opinion can um, really um, differ greatly by magnitudes of millions and millions of, of dollars, if not billions of, uh, you know, a billion dollars at some point. So really um, figuring out the correct methodology to use um, or multiple methodolo methodologies to use is of utmost importance in these cases.